honored Toastmasters and honored guests, I want to tell you about a revelation that I had. This is one of those revelations that you can only have while you are traveling, that you can only have while you are time traveling, while you are time traveling a hundred thousand years in the past to the savannas of Africa. Right, you know those kind of revelations I'm talking about? The revelation was this. This club is not cool because we are celebrating our 75th anniversary. This club is celebrating its 75th anniversary because in our own very, very, very dorky, dorky, <laughs> lovable way, we are pretty cool. <laughs> Here's the story. When I found out we were celebrating our 75th anniversary, I went to the officers and I said, OMG, guys, we should totally go to Las Vegas for the 75th party. <laughs> I, 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 I said it just like that. And they said, uh, I don't think so, Lindsay. Maybe for the 100th anniversary. Uh, no, how about the 100,000th anniversary? <laughs> Well, I'm not very perceptive with subtle sarcasm like that. So I said, you know what? That is a great idea. 75, that's cool. But would, what would be even better? Celebrating our 100,000th anniversary. So, Star Trek style, I beamed myself up and I went out to the savannas of Africa. 100,000 years ago, man was just getting around to using language. And I thought, that's all you really need, some people that can string some sentences together to have a Toastmasters club. <laughs> so I was out there. I brought the ribbons. I brought the banner and the flag and the pins and everything. And I found this group of early humans sitting under a tree, as they did back in those days. So I went up to them and I said, OK, folks, you are going to be, I'm going to re-found the founding of Albuquerque Toastmaster Club 122. And you are going to be the first 122ers. <laughs> and they saw my satiny ribbons and they said, OK. <laughs> the first thing about being a Toastmaster is you have to speak with eloquence. You have to use colorful words and paint pictures and use metaphor. So I attempted to teach these early humans metaphor. I said, OK, here's a metaphor. When you work together, you can make mountains move. And they all got up, ran over to the mountain, and tried to move it <laughs> until nightfall, <laughs> at which point they came back very frustrated and threw things at me. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to start a little more simply. I said the most important thing about Club 122 is that we meet every single Tuesday without fail. So I am going to make for you a very simple and elegant calendar that you can keep track of Tuesdays with. So I got some rocks. <laughs> And I got some sticks, and I made them a calendar. And now they could keep track of Tuesday. Perfect. OK. Another important part of Toastmasters, humor. You ha that's the reason I keep coming back to meetings every week, is how funny people are, how clever people are. You have to have humor. But. A hundred knock-knock jokes later, a hundred yo mama so ugly jokes later, <laughs> they were not getting it. And the only thing they thought was funny was to throw the sticks and the rocks from the calendar at me. OK. Let's try something else. If you, they were very, they were still into a lot of physical communication, because keep in mind, language was just being born here on the, Afri on the savannas of Africa. If you're so into physical communication, fine. 
I will teach you how to use body language to accentuate your points, Rick Buchanan style. <laughs> and they really took to jazz hands. They just, <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much Rick Buchanan style. <laughs> so there I was in the, African in the African savanna, in the heat, even hotter than it is in this room right now, in the sun with a bunch of barbaric, barely humanoid creatures grunting and doing, waving their arms in the air, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I did not create a Toastmasters club. I created the very first Las Vegas. <laughs> <coughs> the moral of this very absurd story is not that Toastmasters are more intelligent than apes, because we are, and that would be a really bad moral to the story. I think we are. <laughs> the moral of the story is that it's not the, the, the important thing is that we're not turning 75. We could be turning 10, or we could be celebrating our 100,000th anniversary. The important thing is that the people in this club are some of the most intelligent and witty and wonderful people that have ever walked the face of the planet, believe me, I know. <laughs> and they meet every single Tuesday night without fail. And that is why we have yet another anniversary to, to celebrate. And I know that someday, somehow, with some people, another, se uh, you know, 75 years from now, they'll be celebrating another anniversary in this club. And it's been my privilege and my honor to spend my Tuesday nights with my fellow Toastmasters. Thank you.